The boat for sale is a 1997 Axiom Offshore produced by Offshore Concepts. Five of these boats were built. They were a very custom haul, very fast. The paintwork you see was done by SD Enterprises, a company that is well known for the graphics on some of the top racing companies in the world, including the United States Army Dragster, Napa Funny Car, and many others. The pipes you see on the box are exhaust tips that were made for the boat. They do attach onto the uh, transom exhaust in case you're on an inland lake where there is noise restrictions. There was no expense spared in creating the graphics on this boat. Most of it is carbon fiber, all Imran paint, even down to small details like rust coming off the rivets, small points of light starting in and out. On the drives is fresh, it's Imran. Looking down lower, we're carrying a 23 pitch Mirage props. Up in the front of the drive, you can see that there have been nose cones added for hydrodynamics. The trim tabs have been extended 9 inches for more control. Also in the event you're in an area where there are noise restrictions, the boat comes with aluminum exhaust extensions. You would just simply take off one of the exhaust flappers and then connect your exhaust extension with quick connect pins. As you look around the boat, you're going to see the sculptured coal screen has been created uh, just to fit like a glove. This upholstery was designed by Buckskins of Grand Rapids. Further on, you can see on the handrails, they have been detailed with the airbrush as well as the rest of the boat has. You'll notice speakers all around the boat because this speaker system is just amazing. It has a massive stereo system that is spread out throughout the entire boat. Down below, you'll notice there are four 14 inch subwoofers, which gives a good shape. Now, looking forward again, the dash has been completely redesigned. All the gauges and equipment are the latest navigation and communications equipment all fed by satellite including radars for weather the Garmin units all are interconnected including a remote control to operate the boat if you are not sitting at the helm the boat as you can see is keyless it has the tethers or safety feature in case of an event of the pilot being thrown away from the helm. Another feature is the auto helm remote control. This is a smart controller by Ray Marine. With this, you do not have to be at the helm to control the boat. You can be anywhere or even back here up in the sun deck entertaining guests. This gives you the ability to run with your GPS and change course if needed to get around another boat or to pick another GPS position. This is incorporated with the GPS system and the auto helm. Paging through, you can see that this will display your various items like speed, heading, waypoints, your present position and tracking, and water depth. In the engine compartment you will find the generator, the Zantex charging system. There is also an automatic firefighting system which can be monitored 
or activated from the dash. It carries four batteries, a fifth battery in the electrical compartment. There are dual bilge blowers and dual bilge pumps. The pumps are capable of putting out 4,400 gallons per hour. As you look down to the floor, you'll also see this boat is equipped with underwater lights, four of them to light up the drives and midsection of the boat. The tension compartment is illuminated by indirect and floodlights. The paint job, again, is another creation by SD Enterprises. Now down to the engines, the fun part. These are 540 cubic inch blocks that have been bored and stroked. Each produces 600 horsepower. Starting at the top, the carburetors are stage 4. Barry Grant carbs, well known for his work in drag racing. They have a flow of 1,050 CFM. The ignitions are made by MSD. All the rollers and rockers are pushing down on the hydraulic lifters, which operate the Fiera titanium valves. The valves have a five angle grind. Moving down further, this also is equipped with J&E blower pistons and crower connecting rods with a 9.1 to 1 ratio, making it easy to add in straight blowers or pro chargers if you wish later. The crankshaft is made by Eagle. It's stainless steel, a 4-bolt pattern. Below that are reduced windage trays in the oil pans. The intake and exhaust manifolds are made by Dart Racing. They are ported and polished. The cranks and the blocks have been Magnaflux, balanced, and blueprinted. Very bulletproof, very powerful, a fine system. Also, you will notice that there are sea strainers in case you would like to go saltwater operation or in waters that aren't too clean. This is the electrical compartment that's located under the helm. As you can see, everything is finely wired. If you look on the right side, you'll see the main amp for the stereo. Below that, subwoof amps and another subwoofer amp on the far end. Below the subwoofer lamp on the far end is the Raymarine Auto Helm computer and the number five battery which is normally used uh, for the stereo when sitting still. To the lower right of the picture is the Garmin controller for the GPS. Looking off to the left, near left, you'll see the Garmin unit that communicates with the satellites for weather radar, audio through XM, and other pieces of information that the system gathers. The white box you see on the lower left is a water heater operated on 110 volt. This is a quick shot with the bimini open. The frame is made of stainless steel and the covering is Sumbrella. The full covering will enclose you completely from any form of weather or spray you might run across in inclement conditions. The uh, clear is ice and glass. The rest of the covering is Sumbrella. It, you can use with the side panels on or off. Very easy access. The hatchback section has a large isoglass window which unzips and rolls down revealing a screened off area. 
plenty of room for two couples to sleep on the sun deck. Sometimes uh, if the weather is just right, you can just leave the hatchback section unzipped for a good airflow throughout the entire boat. From the inside, you are fully enclosed with the entire top up. Plenty of room to move around yet. A six foot person will have a good one foot head clearance while standing in here. Again, you can see the engine hatch area. Plenty of room for several people to sleep if you are staying overnight somewhere. Down below we have an area where all the deck lines are kept. Very clean setup. And the floor is a built-in cooler, approximately 20 gallons worth to keep you from having to run inside to go in the refrigerator all the time. The seats are electric drop bottom seats. Again, this entire upholstery was designed and formed by buckskins of Grand Rapids. Looking inside the cabin area, this has a full galley, microwave, refrigerator, hot and cold running water, full electrical everywhere. We're now walking towards the back of the cabin. This is the main electrical panel for the boat, handling all electrical needs. And if you look off to your left now, you're going to see the head area in an all shower, hot and cold running water. Very cozy. Very little use on this, so you can use it with confidence. <laughs> this is a full bar area, including closet storage. This entire interior has indirect and direct lighting both on 110 and 12 volt. Well, looking forward to bee berths, you're going to notice uh, several bags up here. This boat has a two-piece umbrella top that completely covers the entire of the boat. Also a bimini top and full enclosure with hatchback for traveling in inclement weather. You can be totally enclosed and heated no matter what conditions you All shorelines on the boat are anchored by mushroom cleats. We have a push button section, insert, release, and that's very nice. Good clean appearance, flat look on the deck. The boat also carries extra loops and pins in case you want to raft with other boats, you won't have to use your main lines or use their lines. The trailer is custom made for the boat by Integrity Trailers in Spring Lake, Michigan. Comes complete with an electric winch, hand operated control with approximately eight foot cord. The box you see on the side of the frame is for the electric jack located just behind the tires. Two boxes on each side of the front of the trailer are steel. They are six feet long and lockable. The bedding on the trailer has been custom fit to the boat. We have twin axles, electric brakes, all the way around, a total of eight tires. On the rear of the trailer, there is a swing gate to protect your drives while underway. The entire trailer is well lit all the way around, very solid. 